everybody, Peter Micah here. This is the Mastonic Records November 2012 Original Music Contest video. I'm going to keep this short and sweet, and I'm going to throw out an idea for you all, but I'm going to do that at the end. All right, this is the contest video for November. This video is going to run for a month. At the end of the month, we're going to close this video off to entrance. If you want to enter into the contest, you have the month to do so. At the end of the month, we're going to close it off, as I say, and we're going to open up voting at MastonicRecords.com for seven days from the 1st through the 8th. Um, on the 8th, we're going to close everything off, and then we're going to have a, an announcement as to who the winners are. The artist vote is the bulk of the voting, as I have mentioned in the past. And if you didn't hear the last video, I just wanted to mention, we're having winner's vote. What I mean by that is the artist vote in the past has been what we've determined the winners by. And in the event of a tie, we use the popular vote to say, okay, both of these guys had uh, four votes apiece, but the popular vote puts this guy ahead. That's how we've settled ties in the past. In the future, if you win a spot on the contest, this particular contest here, you will have artist votes for the rest of the year. In other words, you don't have to necessarily post a song in February, and we're going to give you that same power of the voting. So it's, it's just kind of a way to encourage folks to come back, especially guys and girls that are winning uh, spots in the contest. If you post your video as a video response, that's fine. There's a lot of people that do it that way. We ask that you have one video per person and give us your best. That seems to work out a lot better. We want to get the best quality stuff up there so that the, the occasional passerby, the occasional music lover, can get right into the good stuff right away, and it definitely results in a, a better product, I think. All right, what we have added this month is we're going to be running this video on Facebook, and if you have a SoundCloud account and you don't even have a video for your song, you can enter your song into the contest with SoundCloud there on Facebook. Just go down below the video and in the comment link just paste. Don't You don't have to do a big introduction. Let's keep it as minimal as possible because it's going to take a lot of real estate to, to pull this off. Just put your SoundCloud link down there. Hit enter. It'll automatically put a nice player up and I'm going to be featuring the best two or three of the week on Facebook on a separate post and on Twitter and on YouTube. We're going to work something out with that as well. All right, in the past we've done prizes. We've done all kinds of different crazy prizes. This month, no prizes. The prize is you get the feedback that you won, you lost, you got an overwhelming positive response, you didn't get any response. That is the bulk of the reason people come to this contest is for that bit of feedback. That's the thing that brings people back. That's the thing that gets people here in the first place. Hey, I wonder if I would do well in that. Try other contests. We have friends over it. Uh, original song contest. I have a link to their site on, on our page. They're friends of ours. They do a contest a little different, but you can tell watching their videos that they, they, they put a, some nice silly energy into it, some fun into it, and I think their heart's definitely into what they're doing, and they're trying to help people. They're trying to help the, the scene and the artists. So um, if you haven't tried their contest out, try that contest out. Try every contest out. Guitar Center right now. Everybody should be trying out the contest at the Guitar Center. There's thousands of dollars potentially to be made for singer-songwriters. This is the place. There's people who have won this contest who I could say without a doubt would do well in that contest. So get out there. If you see a contest that you think we'd be interested in, make note of it down below. Make note of it on the Facebook page. Make note of it at Twitter. Get the word out there because this is a community these are people here that are that are doing this and doing it well. So uh, welcome aboard if you're just joining us. If you're new, this is the place to be. This is a wonderful way to test out your music and see how it's going to be received and see how that particular song that you release is going to do among uh, people that you don't know. Because that's the key. The, the key is not if your family likes the song or if your friends like the song. The key is if a complete stranger likes your song enough to share it with somebody else. That's the difference between meh and a, a viral thing that, that really latches onto people. If you haven't participated in a while, if you've just got audio, whatever you've got going on, we urge you to participate. Let's make this one the best yet. And uh, thanks everybody once again. Good luck. Okay, the thought for the day.
everybody gets into this, you know, mindset of, you know, what is the way to do it? What is the way to make money in the music business? What's the secret? I think we're we're complicating the issue. I think we need to simplify the issue. What do we have available to us? We've got email. Email that's allowing us to send in an instant. You could send a single MP3 file to a thousand people in a click. And it all happens right away. And it's all handled by, by a distribution outlet that previously, years ago, wouldn't have been available. Now it's available and we don't use it as much as we should, I don't think. Here's my model for what I think would be the, the most successful thing an independent artist could do right now. Get people to subscribe to you. And I don't mean YouTube subscribe where you click on the thing and you're subscribing. I mean get people to commit to you with a $10 contribution. And you say to them, if you commit to me for $10, I will give you a song once a month. It might be a cover one month, it might be whatever, but I will email you a new song once a month. And it might be something that, you know, I mean ideally, you continue to put content on YouTube, you continue to put content out so your fans can see it, so new people can run across it, and you keep things fresh. That's great. But if you could get someone to give you $10, and you could give them one song a month, and it was good quality, there's money in that. And I don't mean there's money in that like, woohoo, you know, high roller. I'm talking there's money in that. You can afford to replace equipment that fails. You can afford to get a guitar that you, you're wanting to get because your guitar is breaking or falling apart. You can afford to replace your microphone. You know, and if, if Trent Reznor, Nine Inch Nails, or if Radiohead, or if any one of these other folks was to do such a model, and really advertise it and just use email there's it's an unlimited resource of money to be made so really it's all about what you're willing to do what you think you can uh, achieve and I'm not about music being all about making money that's never been my thing here um, but I do think that you know ten dollars for an annual subscription to an artist that's going to give me something once a month, I can think of at least 20, 30 artists right now that I would pay that money. I would, you know, there's artists that deal with Mastonic that have been with us since we started that I would gladly give them the money uh, for the next three years. <laughs> I'll pay it today. I'll pay it for more than one member of the household. It's, it's, sometimes the answer is so simple that you reject it on the basis of its simplicity. So just consider it. Email, distribution of a song on a monthly basis, and it doesn't have to be, please don't anybody get locked into rules, if you can help it. Let people know, hey, at the end of the year you're going to have 12 things. There might be a dry month. This is life. But I'll make up that month with a double. Because sometimes you're really prolific and sometimes you're not. That's, that's just how it works. I would also say, you know, that you can make a great bit of difference in your sales pitch to people. If you're trying to sell them something, it, it might not be well received. If you're just appealing to that sense of, of you know, help me out and you're going to get something out of it and in, in, in actuality you're going to get more out of it because if you can get you know if you could pay me the ten dollars and you know I could get some other people to do it it makes it easier in my life to make this happen for you so um, 
Right now, there's not a lot of money in the sales of music. Right now, a lot of people are aware that you can just get the stuff for free. But the rules are changing, and the law is definitely starting to turn around. You're seeing Google behave differently. You're seeing YouTube behave differently. There's definitely tightening up that's going on. If you're not aware of it, it is definitely happening. So the, the, it, the, the teeter-totter, if you will, is starting to swing in the other direction. And it's, it's a slow swing, but it's a huge swing at the same time because there's a lot involved. So just be aware. Reach out to those fans. Get a relationship. And use email because it's cheap, it's easy, and what a nice thing to get in your inbox but a song from an artist that you're a really big fan of. It's definitely worth $10 for an annual membership. Give it a shot, and if you try this and it doesn't work or it does work, let us know. Make a comment. Let's get a discussion going about how we can improve the situation. Take care.